I've been studying uh, immunology of carbohydrates and how we can use that uh, to develop tools to either identify or uh, treat different human diseases. At the core of the research in the lab is glycobiology at the interface of nanobiotechnology, immunology and medicine. And in the terms of the interface of glycobiology and nanotechnology, we try to ask how the presentation mode of glycans, their heterogeneity, can affect the immune recognition, as well as human diet, microbiome. In the terms of the interface of glycobiology and immunology, we try to understand how the immune system is really generating a strong and robust immune response against different disease cells that express different carbohydrates on the cells. And in terms of the medicine, we try to address different human diseases such as cancer, transplantation, IBD, autoimmunity, and then to try to understand how the carbohydrates on the cell surface change during disease and how we can develop tools to identify those disease cells and develop tools to kill or target those disease cells. Recently in my lab, we found the molecular link that explains why people have higher risk of cancer when they consume high levels of red meat. We found that there is a non-human sugar found at high levels in red meat, also in dairy products, and the more we eat of those products, the more of the non-human sugar we get into our bodies. Our immune system also detects that and generates an immune response that at the one hand is increasing the cancer risk, but on the other hand, it can be used as tools for novel immunotherapy to decrease the, uh, and treat cancers in human patients. In another project in my lab, we also develop antibodies that can specifically recognize the novel sugar coating of cancer cells and then to either identify the cancer cells or to treat them specifically with those antibodies that target the sugar coating that is unique in cancer cells.